always wanted to learn how to toss food in a pan like a professional chef, then this episode is for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to pan toss like a pro. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to practice and get used to the motion of the pan, as well as the way the food reacts to said motion. So to do this, we're going to start by placing our pan on the table, and I like to use rice for this since it's very free-flowing and will behave very similar to most things that you'll be tossing. Okay, so this next step is going to seem rather redundant, but you want to make sure that the food that you want to toss isn't stuck to the pan. This is a crucial step because if it were, this would make for a really short video tutorial. So make sure everything in your pan is free flowing. Now the term pan toss is deceptive. Since you're not actually tossing, what you want to do is to use the edge of the pan to actually fold the food over onto itself. So the important motion isn't an up and down one, which is a common mistake that most people make starting out. So instead you want to practice a back to front motion using the momentum to carry your food up the side of the pan and then back over onto itself, just like this. And the last step is you just have to have the confidence to just go for it. The key to a good pan toss is fluid motion, and if you hesitate or are jerky with your movements, the toss won't work as well. So you just have to remember that pan tossing is a knack. You pick it up the more you practice. So it's only going to get better the more you do it. So just keep at it. Well, there you go. If you can master these four easy steps, you'll be pan tossing like a pro in no time. Well, that's all I have time for this week. But to be kept up to date with future episodes, simply click on the bell icon down below. You'll be sent a notification each time a new show comes out. So you don't miss a thing. So if you enjoyed this week's episode, please feel free to give that like button some love and subscribe. And if you found the video useful, please feel free to share it as it does help this channel grow immensely. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to read them. Recipes, as always, are down in the description box. My name is Chef Matt with Kitchen Instruments, thanking you for stopping by. And I'll see you guys next time.